Today I'm going to look at a budget 1080p projector by Goody. And um, I know I've looked at many projectors in the past and I, I've been pretty harsh with a number of them because I had a crappy picture. This is the first budget projector that I'm actually going to use. I'm very impressed with the picture and I think you guys will be too. We're going to do a direct comparison here. Let's check this out. We're going to take a look at this new LED projector that I received to evaluate. Let's take a look at the specifications on this one. It's a 1080p, so 1920 by 1080p. It uses a TFT LCD panel, 1920 by 1080. It is a 140 watt LED light, and they're claiming that it's got some pretty good brightness. So let's uh, crack this thing open. We'll set it up, and we'll give it a test run and see how well this one performs. And I'll actually take this in, and we'll set it up on my projection screen and uh, run some video through it and see how it looks. But first of all, let's open the package. This is what the DHL guy left at my door, by the way, that, I'm, that I slammed in the last video. Uh, even though the, the, the uh, way bill was clearly marked, signature required, that doesn't seem to mean much, does it, these days? Okay, inside here we've got a package of accessories, I guess. What's in here? Power cord and an HDMI cable and a, a dongle for composite video and a remote control. So we're going to test this unit, but first, unpack it, and we'll take a look at the unit itself. Packaging is really quite well done. That's not getting damaged in transport. Look at that packaging. It's beautiful. Good old user's guide. We know where that can go. Adjustment for the lens. And one of our inputs and outputs on the back. We got a USB port. It's got a 5 volts output USB. AV input, headphones, two HDMI, and a VGA, and a power button, and a micro SD slot. And that is probably a, 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 a keystone correction. I'll first do a little bit of testing in the workshop here and then we'll take it inside and I'll move the camera inside and I'll put up my, my real projection screen. But I just want to uh, get this thing plugged in first of all, see what it does. So if I press the power button on the back, and it does nothing. Power lights flashing. There it goes. Well, it came on. And it's on. And is this the focus? This is the focus control. Okay, so I need a little more space than this. Let's point it at the wall, which is approximately, I want to say, what, uh, maybe 12 feet? It's got a massive screen, 120 inch screen approximately. We go through the, uh, the different inputs using the remote control. So you got input source, HDMI 1 and HDMI 2, and you can also select VGA and AV inputs, so you can use it with a computer or with your HDMI source. I'm going to plug my cable TV box into this thing, we'll look at some pictures off of that momentarily. I'll also go into the settings. Here's where you can adjust your projection settings. 
this is for mounting the unit upside down for example so this is for a normal front projection normal rear projection inverted front and inverted rear projection so that way you can hang it from a ceiling and put it on behind a screen normal front is what normally we would be in here uh, normal or inverted front would be to flip the picture upside down like that inverted back does a mirror image and upside down and normal back of course is just a reversed image for rear projection back to the main menu image scaling you can scale the image I don't have an image on here now so I can't do anything aspect ratio you can set it to manually to 4 by 3 or 16 by 9 or leave it in auto and it'll automatically detect picture mode is where you're able to adjust the contrast and the sharpness and the brightness and so forth the on-screen display language Japanese, English, French, Spanish, German, Italian, etc. Software update, factory reset, and auto sleep. So you can set it to turn off after four, six, or eight hours, or never. I'm going to connect it to my cable box now and play some stuff through that I can show you, such as the weather network. So here's the news. I put the news channel on. Yeah, no, she doesn't have a big mole on her face. That's just a hole in the drywall. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, the picture is excellent. I mean, the, the sharpness is very clear on this. I don't know how well it's coming over on on camera here, but it's looking great here. Uh, volume control. It's got built-in volume. And we certainly haven't forgotten about you. We're asking you today to do the right thing and come forward. After Global News reported on a more than 50% spike in crime at Oppenheimer Park so far this year over last, and the City Express... Sound quality is not bad. It's uh, not stereo, obviously. 5-watt amplifier. The sound is very clear. Something like this would be perfect for having your movie night out in the backyard. Because the screen is... It's big, it's clear, and it's bright. I'm going to be putting this into my uh, living room when I'm done with this video. I'm gonna, I got a, a ceiling mount already there. So I'm going to mount it on that and set it up. It, uh, it beats the heck out of the last one. The other one that uh, the last one I reviewed was only a 720 projector and what a difference in the uh, picture quality I can tell right now how much better this one is it's brighter for starters and it's clearer much clearer I'm gonna move this in momentarily and I'm actually gonna put this projector up against the last one I do it did which was the simple beamer and it's gonna put it to shame and you'll see it immediately oh look that is the first electric seaplane in the world today was the day that they did the very first test flight of a battery powered aircraft They only flew it for three minutes, but they took off, did a little test flight for three minutes and landed it. But that's, that's, they say going to be the future of little short flights is uh, battery powered airplanes. I don't think you'll be catching me getting on one, but that's where they're heading. Anyway, um, as I said, that's about all I can show you on this. I wish I could have torn this thing down and uh, showed the internals of it because I think the build quality on this is probably pretty good. 
and if I had a longer screwdriver I would do it but maybe we'll do that at a future time we'll tear it down and take a look inside it so I've set the unit up inside this is now mounted to my ceiling mount I'm going to take a look at some of my own content that I can show you and we'll compare it to the simple beamer so let's take a look This content was shot on a, a DSLR, but it was only recorded in 1080i mode when I did this recording. This was done a number of years ago. I just found some footage and stuck it together just for this little demo. But even at this, you're going to see a huge difference between this projector and the simple beamer, which is going to be coming up momentarily. I'll show the same shots from the other projector just so you can get a, a, an idea of the difference in the quality. So we stopped in the town of Clinton. There's an old antique shop here. So take some pictures, a bunch of people hanging around here. The Clinton Emporium. We're stopping to take a few pictures here of the interesting things that they've got in this little town. Some of the unusual things you'll find here at the Clinton Emporium. Anvils. I guess these are branding tools of some type. Branding now the reason the image is, is uh, juddering a bit there is because this was shot at a different frame rate. This was done on a DSLR that is not operating at 60 frames like my video camera does. This is operating at 30 frames. So it, there's going to be motion judder on any shots from any of these old DSLRs in video mode. Okay, this one's a simple beamer. I know it's not quite straight, but well, you can definitely see the difference there. Let's take a look at the GoD here, and you'll see what a difference in the picture quality between the, the GoD and the uh, simple beamer. So now back to the simple beamer. As you can see, not only is the picture not as clear, but it doesn't have the contrast. The, the, the blacks just are washed out. It, it's just not as good a picture. So this is what I mean about the, the, the cheap projectors. This is what you get off of a lot of them. You get this, this washed out picture and worse. But um, see, the, the, the Goody is the first one that I've seen that in, the, in that price range, it actually has a half decent picture. So I think we've uh, seen enough of how bad this one looks. Let's uh, let's take a listen to the amount of noise that they make as well, because there's a difference in the noise that the projectors make. 
So this is the simple beamer. As you can hear the racket that this thing makes. And we'll shut this down and I'll go back and I'll turn on the go deep. So I'm going to shut this one off. You can see how much brighter the Godi is right now. I turned it on and uh, it's actually overpowering this other one. So you can hear how much quieter the fan is on this thing. Plug in the USB stick. No comparison. I'll now power them both up with no source, just with the menu on it. I can't remember which remote control I'm using here. There. Okay, this is the uh, Godi. Oh, that's a simple beamer. I got them both coming up here. Okay, you can see the difference in the brightness between the two of them. So there's the simple beamer by itself. I just want you to hear the racket that the fan makes. So simple beamer is running. So you can hear the fan on both of them for sure because there is a fan. Obviously the LED has to be cooled. But the sound level is about half on the Goody. Back to the simple beamer. The Godi is one I could actually recommend, and the link to this product is in the description. So I've got it installed on a ceiling mount, and playing on my big screen looks really good. Thanks for watching.